Hi, this is Mama Hesh from CRM Ones. In this video, I'm going to explain about the uh, PCF controls, how we can download and install in, in our organization. So why we have to uh, look into the PCF gallery for the PCF controls? Because like for every developer, the first choice for the uh, dynamics and power apps side is like a something you can get it like a with less cost and with the less customizations or less work if something is already built in the by the sum of them and it's available in the open source or in the paid services so it's better to get it done get it that max to maximum that work from the different sources and install in our environment and you can try to use of course for some of the projects, you might not be able to do that. We have to build some, some of our own components, but it's better as a developer, you should look into that, into the, in the internet. Is there something similar components is already built in the PCF gallery? You can ch just check that thing and get the uh, code as a reference and you can start building your own. So that definitely this will help you uh, while developing the PCF controls. Let me navigate to that, how we can navigate to the PCF gallery and how we can look into that in the PCF gallery site and how we can download it. Let me start that uh, explanation. So let me open that uh, site first. So once you open that internet Google page, so then you can search for PCF gallery. So once you enter that, you can see the HTTPS PCF gallery site. So you can open that site. And here this is a different PCF controls, which is already available. So like we can download and, and you can start using those things. So you can search by criteria. So you can see like a 3D and action and the audit history and some authentication side animations. So here we can search it like for assigned PCF controls what we have. So we have like a different controls available here. And also we can search here we have a search. So here, let me go back here. We have a search option. So we can search. So here, let me take one, one piece of control as an example. Let me take it as a multi-select. So we have a so multi-select PCF controls we have. So we have a different types of multi-select controls. It's like end-to-end -end and multi-select as a flat and multi-select as entity pricker. So let, let me I'm taking for this one end-to-end. -end. So when you open this one, select this PCF control, you can see that uh, how to use this. Oh, PCF control, you can see the YouTube video. And if you want, you can visit the Git site. And if you want to download this control, you can click on the download. It will take to you that Git, GitHub site. And here in the GitHub, you can download the source code and you can build in your local and you can deploy. Or else you can, we will have like a here, you can find a Manager solution also directly you can import it to the your environment. For this PCF control, I think they are they are not providing any manager solution. So they are completely providing the, the source code we can download and we can build from our local, generate the managed solution and we can import it to our CRM. 
let me take another piece of control so which is providing the manager solution so if you see here they have a manager solution here so we can download this manager solution file so we can go to the here download click on the download file it will take some time to download so once we got this solution file so once once it is downloaded we need to navigate to our crm and go to the solutions and import import a solution we have choose your solution file path and this my solution click on next import so once it is imported successfully this pcf controls will be available so for the model driven apps and if it's a canvas app then it's in the canvas app also it is available so how we can add to the model driven app and canvas app i have explained in my previous videos just go through that so this is how we can download the pcf controls from uh, pcf gallery and we can import into the our crm uh, i mean in our in our dynamics and we can use it so in in my next videos i, I can i can explain you to how we can build that PCF controls and how we can develop the PCF control and how we can generate the solution files and how we can deploy it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, subscribe us.